All right, we got a little battlefield here, guys. Very, very mixed feelings about this. Okay, we're gonna this one. We're gonna have to go on a little journey together. So, disclaimer first, guys, is uh, Novrich, the developer of the SSP5. He reached out to me. And said, hey, been watching your channel. Uh, you know, like it. You want to review the SSP5? I say, hey, yeah, no worries. Okay. He ends up sending, and then the team sends a big ass box, and that's what we have. So you can go check out those videos. But he knows, you guys know, I know. There's no bullshit on this channel, okay? I'm an old man. I don't do fancy edits, okay? If I like something, I like something. If I don't like something, you're gonna hear from me, okay? It's both ways. If I love something, I'm gonna be, you know, typing and giving praise. And the SSP5 has done wonderful. It set the bar really high up, okay? So that's in my eyes. I'm like, okay, you set the bar up high now. Ooh, you better, you better line it up around the whole thing because the marketing is well done, the website's well done. It's like they're checking off a lot of boxes. But if you just came from the, the the toolkit video and the the maintenance kit, you can see I, I, you know, I took a fat shit on it, all right? This guy, yeah, all right? So, I have a good amount of experience with HPA, um, uh, HPA setups, okay? Primary Airsoft, by far, is the, the most one I've had the experience with. Uh, so many customers of mine are using Primary Airsoft, okay? I have the Glock one, I don't know where it is, unfortunately, I wish I had it, I have the Glock, um, I have the old ones. These are both old, right? Primary Airsoft has made much newer ones, okay? I, these are old. These were, this was gifted to me, so I appreciate him. He's always helped out. He gave me the murder mag, okay? So, the problem is you got a reputable company that's out there, so it's hard to go in there, and there are so many companies that are making them. I know we picked up CTM. I know Action Army's made a kit. There's like... There's a couple 3D printing companies that tried to enter the market, that Primary Airsoft, at the end of the day, I gotta give it to Primary Airsoft. I feel like they're the strongest choice of me right now. Now, this is a Gen 2. This comes in at $75, so I feel like it's on the lower end. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cheap, and I'll show you guys Primary Airsoft's version of it, and you'll be like, oh shit, okay? <laughs> so they have a Gen 1. And that one uses the straight mags. And, oh, the funny thing is, hey, they were actually supposed to send me the high cap one, but they sent me the Glock on accident. But they have a Gen 1, and you can see it's a straight. I got to be honest, this aesthetic is way better. I, I don't like the curved aesthetic. It's actually, it's very off-putting. I, yeah, I, I don't like the curved at all. Not a fan of it. Um, but, you know, we're, just, we're checking what it is. But aesthetically... Just based on aesthetics, I would not buy this, okay? I'm, and I, if you care about aesthetics. Uh, if you don't care about that, you're gonna be fine. Okay, so this is Gen 1. Can't use the curved one in the Gen 1s. They don't want you going more than, they want you, they recommend 2.0s to 2.8s and 100 to 120 uh, PSI. Very specific, very specific numbers, okay? Cannot be used with the new curved ones, okay? And what's weird is, in the picture, it looks like it's injection molded, but I guess it's not. But it doesn't tell you it's not 3D printed. Like, this is the first time that I was like, okay, what's going on here? Fiber reinforced nylon and zinc alloy. Um, and then you come down to the Gen 2. Which looks very similar, so I'm like, I'm a little confused. Injection molded, same material. Okay, so I, I don't know what's going on here. It's a little confusing, but the price is, you know, 75 bucks. Okay, and you're like, oh, that's kind of expensive. Well, here, let me show you primary airsoft, okay? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And I was doing some digging around. This is the M4 mag, 85 bucks, and he's come a long way. He's got, he's got injected molded now, and he, but this is for M4 mags. So, check it out. These are 3D printed. Look at their price though. 134, but at the same time, he's been doing this for a long ass time. Okay, this one, it says, we recommend you run pistol near this pressure and do not exceed 140. So he wants you to be around 120, but he's telling you do not exceed 140. So you can tell he's obviously confident and pushing it past that, okay? Um, 
you can see right here echo zima 110 round straight uh it also works <laughs> it looks it looks right there it looks funny <laughs> he's thinking the same thing i'm thinking oh man uh these curved ones are 130 i think they're they're 14 bucks on the website um it works guys it works i'm just not crazy about it okay but at the same time it's 75 bucks okay let me make sure i've already tested it it feeds it no problem uh loading these is a pain in the butt i've been spoiled by the odin i gotta admit i'm spoiled by it the biggest problem that i don't like is and you can see the magwell is not even on right now is it doesn't like magwells so in my head, I'm like, well, shit. You, if you guys went from Gen 1 to Gen 2, why didn't you at least make it work with at least other types of Mac walls? Now, I know this one's egregious. Like, you know, it's, it's kind of fat back. But this one's not that bad. It's, it's pretty thin from the, from the grip to here. Not bad, right? Like... Why couldn't this been dipped down or recessed just a little bit? But I know then people were like, well, design point of view, you know, or it's injection mode, so the, the, they have to, you know, the mold's already been made and they have to do it in this one. But it's like, in my head, I'm like, no. I know it's cheaper, but at the same time, who, who's buying this, guys? And just think about this as, as a whole. Who's buying this? It's gonna be people who have invested in the HBA system, you you have someone that's already kind of dedicated into pistol because it's not in a cheap, it is not a cheap investment. You need this setup, you need the hose, you need the tank, you got to go understand how it works. It's it's it's, a, it's complex, okay? So these people are most likely going to have multiple guns of multiple Magwells, and I I was checking on their website, and there's pictures of it working with their Magwell, okay? And I'm like, oh my god, did they did they uh, do something similar to this? This is TTI, and it's called the Drum Magwell Kit. And you can see, look how thin this is. And you can see it's got, like, a cut here, very thin, all right? So it's like, well, shit, that kind of sucks. Like, you should, in my head, I'm like, if you're going to buy, if you're going to sell something like this, at least try to make it accept other Magwells, Okay. So, you know, in my head, I'm dinking this down. It's more affordable, yes. Does it feed? Yes. Okay, this is probably the fastest AAP we have right now. This is the Cal Cal one, all right? And it, it can feed it no problem. I'm using two O's, of course, but, you know, the heavier BBs you guys use, the more problems you'll have, okay? So that's just something that's normal. Um, but at two O's, two fives, two eights, it's feeding this, okay? Past that, I don't know. All right, and I'm not. I don't know if I'd be pushing that with Fuado, anyways. I'd be pushing my like two five to two eights with Fuado. But it can it can feed that. I'll do more testing so we get a better idea. But just from a gener generic test. Okay, let me show you the Magwell. So they got two Magwells. It's just in my head. I was like, come on, man, really. And this is a Gen 1. You gotta work with the Gen 1. So show me the Gen 2. You know what I mean? It's just like. And these, you can tell, they look pretty thin. But I don't like that. I, I, I want something that is gonna at least work with multiple mangles. And that's something to me, I feel like the, the road has been paved, paved already from Primary Airsoft and all the other companies. How new are these? If this has been made in the last four or five years that's new you know how old these are these are ancient hp this has been around for a very long time so you've already got this the, the roadmap there and you probably realize by now there's there's gonna be a lot of users with a lot of different types of mag well there's probably over a hundred uh, at least a couple hundred different styles of magwells so you've got the concept you've got the idea I mean, to, in my head, like it's simple, and that should have been from Gen 1 to Gen 2, should have been like, hey, 
we can now you can brag about hey accepts most Mac walls. I, I would I'd be cool with it if it said accepts most Mac walls. I got one right here, three, four. I got a bunch of other ones I can go test. Let me get up. Actually, let me turn off the compressor and let's see if we can get any of them to work with it. I'm gonna turn off the compressor so it doesn't go off. Let's see what else. All right, what mag walls we got? We got this mag wall. All right, we got one. We got two. We got three. Uh, is that it? And four. Okay. We got a little war field here. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Now you can, this one where I, I actually cut out for, I don't even know where I cut that out. I cut that out for uh, like a certain base plate. You know what I mean? And this is not even all my mag wells. So, you know, all right, let's, you know what, actually let's screw this. This is supposed to be saved for a, a uh, you know, I wanted to do TTI, but at, we're, at, we're already at this point. So what the hell, let's just do it. So in my head, and guys, I'm always gonna be like this because like, this is shit I'm looking for. You gotta look at, at everything. Okay, let's get this guy out. This is TTI's drum magwell. You can see how thin this is. I'm hoping this works. Look how thin this is. This should, in theory, should work. Oh wait, is this for, uh, let's see, I think it's AP only. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, dumb me. Uh, where's AP? Right here. Okay. We don't need to really screw it in, do we? God, look at that. Damn it. Not a single magwell can get rid of that damn thing. Right, let's just put this in. Alright. All right, thank you. So we got one magwell that works, and that's a, a specific magwell. All right, and but to me, that's not fair. I don't like that. If they do a Gen three, get this to work with everyone's magwells. At least not all. It's impossible to get all. But if, you know, all you gotta do is just buy one. That's like really nutty. That's all you have to do. Just buy the worst, fattest magwell you can do. To me, that's that's how simple it is. Buy the fattest mango you can, and this is the the fattest one I know right now for AEP. And from the from distance from here to there, figure out a design that works. Okay, prices okay, seventy five bucks, fine. I'll, you know, we would have to check out the primary airsoft one, and like we'd have to check out other competitors. Guess what? If none of them are doing it for that price, if none of them are doing it, then guess what? They're all getting smacked. Right? That's the reality. All right, I've done enough. This is, look at this mess. I gotta go clean this shit up now. Uh, I can't think of anything else. I, I'm like, I'm not crazy about it. You, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Am I saying it's a bad product? No. Uh, I just wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Cause like, to be honest, these guys, have been around a lot longer. I'd probably say, to be honest, if I had to, if you said, hey, Knuckles, what would you buy? I'd be like, okay, Primary Aerosoft has been doing this for a long, long time. To me, they're the experts on the field. So I would just go with them. That's what I would do. Uh, this Is is this more affordable? Yeah, it's more affordable. But keep in mind, if you got a lot of magwells and you got like three, four, five different mags, guns, guess what? You're going to have to do some work. You're going to have to figure out what you want to do. And I, I, to be honest, I probably would not modify this. 
because that's close to the wall. It's an important area. And I, that's probably why, you know, they might counter and say, well, we couldn't do it. But it's like, okay, well, then find a better design. That's my response, okay? There's so many competitors out there. And whoever designed this, just just find a better design. You have, you went from Gen 1 to Gen 2 to, you know, I don't know the differences. I'm, I myself was confused, okay? I will see you guys later. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to lie. I know the, the, the MP5 Max is, you know, this isn't for everyone. But this is a much more compact form than the, this is really long. That's the one thing I, I the other thing I don't like. It's longer by like a, a good amount. Okay, it's, all right, this one's curved, but I, have you seen the straight one? The straight one looks so much sexier. Okay. I mean, <laughs> you can't even see it, okay, it's just it's a lot longer. All right, this is, let me try to get bottom to bottom. All right, and front, this is actually a little bit heavier. This is heavier than this, this one right here. Okay, empty, empty is heavier. All right, that's it guys. I'll see you around, take it easy.